Okay, so Bedwars Season X is next week, and if we go right here, as you can see, Season X is in 5 days, 22 hours of the time of recording this. And, well, if you didn't know, yesterday the developers actually released a trailer, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the trailer, and I'm also going to be giving you guys a full breakdown of the whole trailer and what to expect for Season 10. And well, yes, the developers did decide to change the name from Season 10 to Season X. And I did make a video yesterday going over the trailer, giving kind of a breakdown, showing some leaks and some other stuff. But today we're just going to be focusing on the trailer and giving a full breakdown because I think I finally understand what's going on in the trailer. Okay, so first I'm going to be playing the trailer with no interruptions so you guys can see what you think. Okay, that's the trailer, and now we're gonna be rewatching it slowly, and I, I'm gonna be giving you guys a full breakdown of everything. Now, before I do get into the rest of this, there might be spoilers for the season, so click off the video if you guys don't want the season to be spoiled and you want it to be a surprise. At the start of the trailer, we can see like a raven or a falcon. I don't know what this is, and then we see a building getting struck by lightning, and that's where the bird is flying. And then we can see seven Bedworth kids surrounding one map sitting at the table. Now all of the kids sitting at the table are Electra, Ares, Ghost, Hika, Trinity, Nyx, and Falconer. And in the middle as you can see we have the dome map and if we keep playing the trailer a little bit you can see Ares and then there's a clock right behind him. And it has a ton of Roman numerals but it's basically just a normal clock. And then as you can see the clock is slowly ticking forwards and it's starting at 1. And if you don't know this is actually gonna keep counting and then it's gonna stop at X because that's gonna be our current season. And I'm gonna quickly explain what's going on because we didn't have context at the start of the trailer, but now we do. So I'm just gonna explain the context first so we don't get confused on what's going on. So basically there are seven kits in the Bedwars table and they're basically resembling the gods of Bedwars and they're all sitting at a table and they're actually doing a group vote and they're arguing over what to choose. But basically they all have little figures in front of them. Each little figure is resembling one season. As you can see in front of Electra, there's a forge table resembling season 8, there is a traveling merchant resembling season 7, and then there's another one which we haven't discovered. By the way, this part I didn't really do much about it, so huge thanks to RGL because they're the ones that were doing all of this. But basically they're all, argu they're all arguing over what they want to choose. And there's gonna be like, I don't know if it's gonna be a war pull or something, but we're gonna travel into the past with the Bedwars kits. And then we're going to be going through every single season, and then in the beginning of each game, there is going to be a certain vote. And during the vote, we're going to be choosing between three seasons, and then we're going to play on that season in that specific match. So for example, we can get season 1, which is going to be OG Bed Wars, season 2, which we're going to have potions, or we could get season 3, which we're going to have old enchants and stuff. And then there are a few hated features that are going to be coming back, like the forging, but I haven't seen a lot of people really excited for forging to come back. Yeah, basically every single feature is going to be coming back into the Bed Wars, and I'm actually really excited for this because if you guys didn't know, Season 6 is actually my favorite season in Bed Wars because we had relics and stuff, and it sucks that they just got removed really quickly. And now I think I know why the Bed Wars devs removed the Void map, and it seems that that's because they were preparing for Season X when they're going to bring it back in, well, the season. Because we're also going to be going, we're also going to be able to go back to Season 5 or Season 4, I think, where we had the Void. Okay, but anyways, if we go back to the trailer... We can see that all of the kids are just arguing over what they want to choose. All of the kids are putting their votes on certain seasons. And in the trailer, I think we're choosing between Season 8, Season 7, and Season 6. Okay, and as you can see, they're all going to be controlling a Bedwars match. And it ended with Ares just smacking the table. And I can only assume that they're going to be fighting after the trailer. And this is only the first trailer. We might get a second one soon, maybe in the middle of next week. Well, this coming week. But I'm not too sure. They might just make one trailer because they usually make one. I and mean, they usually don't make any. They they've only made a season trailer like two, maybe three times. But yeah, that's about all I know about the trailer. So I'm gonna quickly break through what I think the whole season is gonna be about. So this is all. This is also regarding leaks. So the lobby theme seems to be like old Greek, and the theme is gonna be white and gold. 
as I've showed in a previous video where I show most of the lobby assets. But now, people don't really care about the lobby, they just want to know what the actual game is going to be. So in the battle pass, I think we're going to be getting 5 kits, just like we did this season. Those kits being Ghost, Hika, Pyro, Falconer, and Tinker. And this isn't going to be a leak video, so I'm not going to show you guys everything about the kits. But I have showed everything in a previous video, which I'll probably have on the top right corner right now. But basically, in-game, we're going to be getting every single season back. Going from season 1 to 9. And then we are... And I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting new mechanics for season X. Because there will be no point in a season if they just don't have anything new. And the season is going to be like season 6. So at the beginning of every match, every single player is going to be voting between a certain season. There's going to be three options. So we'll just give an example of season 1, 8, and 3. Season 1 having balloons and snowballs. Season 8 having forging back. And season 3 having old enchants, I guess. And then it's going to be a vote between every single player in the server going through all teams. And the most voted season is going to be the current season of the match. So if season 8 wins, then the forging mechanic is going to be added, is going to be added back to the game. And everybody's going to be playing with forging. If season 1 wins, we're going to be going back to the oldest season and we're going to be playing with balloons and snowballs. If season 3 wins, we're going to be getting well, old enchants back and that's about it. And for other mechanics, I'm not too sure what we're going to be getting new for season 10. But there have been some leaks for like a gliding ability. Which I'm not sure what that is. It's probably going to be for the falconer kit. But yeah, that's about all I had for this trailer breakdown. Hopefully this broke it down enough for you guys to understand what's going on in the season. Oh, but there's also one more thing. If we go to the trailer on Bedwars, and we look at the description, we can see. Time is ticking and the gods are descending in Rolex Bedwars Season X. On April 5th, 2024, 3pm PDT. So yes, this is this Friday, and we currently have double XP for anybody who's actually trying to get level 55. Since we did get another epilogue this season, and it goes all the way to 55 so we can get the Void Terra. And well, yeah, that's all I had for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. And I'm going to be streaming the season next release, probably. And also going to be doing special videos before the season release. I'm going to be doing season predictions, where I predict, well, features that are coming into the game. Predicting what the kits do, and then some other things. What's getting removed, what's getting added, and what's getting changed. And I'll probably do some other special videos for season X. And I'm probably going to be doing a season X giveaway. So make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss that. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you on the next video. So yeah, bye.